Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is gonna give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Development teams and organizations are always looking for ways to automate, streamline, and improve processes related to building software. SharePoint framework development teams, they're really no different. This process usually brings together two things, development, which is the dev part, and operations, which is the operations part. And this is referred to or commonly called DevOps. This is gonna be used to continuously provide value to your customers. Now, DevOps is comprised of multiple practices and multiple components. And one aspect of this is continuous monitoring. So in this chapter, what we're gonna focus on is how can you incorporate continuous monitoring practices into your SharePoint projects using, using a tool called Azure Application Insights. We're gonna start with a definition on what is DevOps, and then we're gonna dive into continuous monitoring and what does that involve? And we're then gonna look at how we can use a tool called Azure Application Insights to be able to implement continuous monitoring and what features it provides for us. Then we're gonna look at the SharePoint framework and we're gonna see what options do we have and what opportunities do we have to implement continuous monitoring practices using Azure Application Insights into SharePoint framework projects. And then I'm gonna do two demos. In my first scenario, I'm gonna show you how to use the SharePoint, how to use SharePoint Online and the Azure Application Insights to track usage and telemetry and exceptions uh, of your entire SharePoint Online tenant using Azure Application Insights with one component. And then we're gonna pivot. And in the next demo, we're gonna see how we can use uh, Azure Application Insights in a custom SharePoint Online component. So let's go ahead and get started. 